Hello, we're going to teach you now in this video how to divide the image by three and we're going to create different backgrounds. So let's start. First, you need to open a file that is going to equal to the width and the height. So let's start, let's go web, doesn't matter, let's put here 800 and here is going to be 800 and this can be 72, doesn't matter. Now, I'm going here, I'm going to take the image and I'm going to put this in the file. Let's do Ctrl T in PC, Command T in Macintosh, and that's fine. I'm going to open new layer and I'm going to create a square. And I'm going to fill this with black, white, and it doesn't matter. Okay, and okay. After that, I'm going to remove tool and I'm going to duplicate this, but before I'm going to do transform, edit, transform, and let's choose distort, and let's distort the graphics a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. When I'm going to do this, I'm going to hold the shift, shift to the right, and a little bit shift to the left. Now, I'm going to duplicate this two times, Alt in PC, in Macintosh it's option, and alt again here in this situation i'm going to put this little bit to the right to the little bit to the left and here i'm going to make this bigger to cover and to be very big Control t you can hold alt or option in your keyboard so it's going to be like that so now we're going to duplicate the image three times Take the image, put on the create new layer, take the image, duplicate this like that. Just drag the image on the create new layer. After that, I'm going to use the masking. We have one, two, three. Every time we're going to borrow the selection and we're going to take the selection and we're going to use this to the image. So let's start. First, let's hide the layer here. I'm going here. This is the first layer. I'm going to hold Ctrl or Command in my computer. It depends if you have Macintosh. After that, I'm going to take the layer and put in the pin. Click on one of the images and click on the mask. Again, hold Ctrl or Command here on this area to have the selection. Put the layer on the pin. Go to the image and click on the mask. So is here again. We're going to use Ctrl or Command in my keyboard. I'm going to have the selection. Let's take this, put it in the bin, and let's click on the mask. So, sorry, on the mask here. So we have one, two, and three. Let's do the FX drop shadow on one of the layers and after that we're going to duplicate the effect and going to put this to the different layers we have here. So I'm going to the FX drop shadow and here I'm going to choose a little bit distance, little bit spread, little bit size, not too much, much better this very simple like that. Opacity 100 and the blend of mode should be normal. After that, okay, I want to take the FX and to do this here and there. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option in Macintosh, Alt in PC, and just take the FX and put here. FX, Alt, and put this here. So we have duplicated the graphics. We're going to take the layer, the middle, and we're going to put this here under everything so in this case it's like that and we're going to put the layer 2 on we're going to do a little bit opacity just reduce this and we're going to do the different effects we did before we can see the all of the rotation and blah 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 so let's start i'm going here i'm going to open new layer i'm going to do shift backspace edit fill or edit fill and use black in this case, I'm going to use overlay, multiply, it depends what you want. You can use the overlay, it's really nice. And let's open new layer, shift backspace, and let's choose white. Let's reduce the opacity. Let's do Ctrl T, C 
command tin PC and rotate this like that. After that, I'm going to create new layer, shift backspace or edit fill, or shift backspace is the shortcut. I'm going to choose black. Okay, and we're going to reduce the opacity again, and we're going to control T, command T, PC, and we're going to do this like that. So basically, we have finished the, sorry, the advertisement. We can go to the square. We can choose the area we want to leave. Let's pretend it's like that. After that, image and crop, and it's going to be only the area here. Thank you.